Electricity Part 2 Brightness of Bulb Factors Affecting the Brightness of Bulb We will explore what causes the brightness of a bulb to increase or decrease. First, we will look at how batteries affect the brightness of the bulb. The first factor, number of batteries. The more batteries there are, the higher the voltage, which is a measure of chemical potential energy stored in the batteries, hence the brighter the bulb. The second factor, arrangement of batteries. Batteries must be connected from their positive end to their negative end. The amount of voltage is equal to the addition of the supply of power by all batteries when connected correctly. Let's look at this diagram here. Bulb A is bright, and electrical power is provided by one battery. However, bulb B is brighter, as electrical power is provided by two batteries. Let's look at this diagram here. Bulb C is the brightest, as electrical power is provided by three batteries, which is more than bulb A and bulb B. However, bulb D is blown, or fused, since too much electrical power causes a lot of heat energy to be released at the filament of the bulb and the filament melts. Second, we will look at how the number of bulbs and its arrangement can affect its brightness. The first factor, the number of bulbs. When the number of bulb increases, the brightness of each bulb decreases. The power from the batteries are shared between the bulbs. The second factor, the arrangement of bulbs. In series arrangement, the voltage applied across each bulb is divided equally. In parallel arrangement, the voltage applied acres each branch of bulb is the same. Hence, bulb arranged in parallel are brighter than in series. Bulbs in series. Let's look at this diagram here. One bulb in circuit A is powered by two batteries in series. Two bulbs in circuit B are powered by two batteries in series. Each bulb in circuit A is powered by two batteries. Each bulb in circuit B is powered by one battery. Hence bulb in circuit A is brighter. Bulb and circuit B is dimmer. Bulbs in parallel. Let's look at this diagram here. One bulb and circuit C is powered by three batteries in series. Two bulbs in parallel are powered by three batteries. Three bulbs in parallel are powered by three batteries. Each bulb and circuit C is powered by three batteries. Each bulb and circuit D is powered by three batteries. Each bulb and circuit E is powered by three batteries. All bulbs in circuit C, D, and E have the same brightness. Putting them all together, the brightness of circuit C or D or E is brighter than bulbs in circuit B, followed by bulb in circuit A. Now, we will take a look at conductors and insulators of electricity. Conductors and insulators of electricity. Good conductors of electricity are materials that allow electricity to pass through them. For example, all metals. Pure conductors of electricity are materials that don't allow electricity to pass through them. For example, most non-metal, such as rubber and plastics. Question time. Question 1. Do the bulbs light up in the following circuits? Let's look at option A. The voltage applied by batteries cancels out as they are connected at both their positive ends. The bulb doesn't light up. Let's look at option B. The voltage applied by batteries in series is correct. However, the bulb in red is not connected correctly, as it is only connected at its metal casing. Bulb do not light up since circuit is open. Let's look at option C. Batteries are connected correctly at their positive and negative ends. Each bulb is connected correctly at its metal tip and casing. Bulbs light up. Let's look at option D. Batteries are connected correctly at their positive and negative ends. Each bulb is connected correctly at its metal tip and casing. Bulbs light up. Question 2. Which bulb is the brightest? Let's look at option C. Three bulbs in series are powered by two batteries in series. Each bulb in circuit C is powered by two-thirds of a battery. Let's look at option D. Two bulbs in series are powered by two batteries in series. Each bulb in circuit D is powered by one battery. Hence, bulbs in circuit D is the brightest, followed by bulbs in circuit C, and then bulbs in circuit A or B as the bulbs in both circuits don't light up. Question 3. Which bulb is the brightest? 
In circuit A, each bulb is powered by two batteries. In circuit B, each bulb is powered by one battery, as the bulbs are connected in parallel. In circuit C, two bulbs are connected by three batteries. Therefore, each bulb is powered by two third batteries. In circuit D, each bulb is powered by one battery. The brightness of bulbs in circuit A is brighter than bulbs in circuit B, or the brightness of bulbs in circuit D is brighter than bulbs in circuit C. The brightness of bulbs in circuit B is the same as those in circuit D, 